welcome to this tutorial where I will teach you how to make this cute and beautiful shawl. It's called the Raspberry Crescent Shawl and it's a crescent shape so you can wear it as a shawl or as a triangle scarf. It's very nice and drapey and it has these ends which curl up so nicely. This is one of the first designs that I created and published by myself and I wanted to make a video to show you exactly how you get from a ball of yarn and a hook to this which is perfect to wear either in summer or autumn, winter. I made another version in a different yarn just to see what it looks like. Um, this is made with wool and acrylic and it's just as soft and drapey and nice to wear as the other one and this one is more suited for autumn, winter weather. It's perfect for wearing at the office or um, going for a walk or going shopping, whatever. I love wearing it like this. It's perfect under a coat. So as you can see, the pattern is really simple. It just has these bands going down from the middle and from the sides to the other end. And the way we increase every row creates this beautiful shape that will stay on your shoulders no matter what. One of these, oh, something similar to this, um, 800 meters of yarn. This is 100% cotton, but you can also get it in 50% cotton, 50% acrylic or a different uh, fiber. And what's nice about this is that it's a uh, gradient, so you have different colors of yarn going in um, while the other ones are faced out. So you get this really nice transition from dark to light color or there are different cakes with uh, different color combinations but you don't need to use this I mean they're quite expensive you can use just any kind of yarn you like I also used simple acrylic with uh, wool for this version um, one color I used also around 800 meters for this one so you can also increase the thickness of the yarn you use these ones I made with a 3mm hook and they are around the weight too but you can make them in a thicker yarn and the bands will be a bit wider but the shawl will be as big as you want it. So pick up enough yarn for a normal size shawl. I would say between 600 and 1000 meters uh, or between 600 and 1000 yards of yarn and pick up a hook that's compatible with the yarn that you chose and let's get to it. I will show you step by step how to make the beginning of the shawl and then the rest is easy. You just repeat the steps from the previous rows. I will see you with the first row. I'll be demonstrating using this yarn which is by Alize. It's called cotton gold and it requires it says two to four millimeter hook and it's 55 percent cotton and 45 percent acrylic it's good enough for this demonstration you can use whatever yarn you like i will unpack this and then i will talk a bit about the pattern itself which you can print before we start i would like to talk a bit about the pattern itself there are instructions and there is also a diagram if you've not worked with the diagram before it's not a problem you can watch this video as many times as you like but i will use the diagram because it's much easier for me to read. You have the legend here which says what each of the stitches means. So we start with a magic ring and then we do three chain. Then we do the number of double crochet stitches that are presented here and then we continue with the next row. So this is worth back and forth and you can print this in color if you like but I don't really need it and I will demonstrate all the rows up to row 14. So you can see the whole repeat of rows and then you can continue on your own. The first row consists of the equivalent of 11 double crochets. So we will make three chain in a magic ring and then 10 double crochets. We begin with the magic ring. This is just a simple loop. Put the hook in and row through and make three chains. One, two, and three. And now we will start working in this loop. 10 double crochets. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. 
six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we have the equivalent of 11 double crochets in the magic ring and we will pull on this tail to close up the ring. Extract the tail and then pull on it like this. And this closes the magic ring. So now we have the first row finished and we will continue with the second row. We begin with 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. If you haven't turned already, we turn now and a double crochet in the first stitch. This is the increase we have increased by three. Now we do double crochet in each of the next four stitches one, two, three, and four. Now we have reached the middle stitch, so we make three double crochets in here, increasing one stitch per side, so that's increasing two in the middle. Two, three. Then we make one double crochet in each of the next four stitches. One, two, Three, and four, and in the last stitch we will do a double crochet, two chains, and another double crochet or extended double crochet if you want. We make one double crochet in the top of the chain. Okay, this is one double crochet and then chain two and then another double crochet. Because it's so difficult to work in this chain three from the other row, I usually don't work with chain. In the beginning of each row I do a mock double crochet or in this case mock extended double crochet. I will show you how to make the beginning double crochet. It's very simple. We have the yarn in front here and chain one, secure it there. Extend the loop on the hook a bit and go around. This creates a loop here that we will use for the double crochet. Then go into the stitch and pull up a loop while holding on to the, the loop on the hook, the twisted one. Then yarn over and pull through two and then you are left with two and then yarn over and pull through two. This creates a much nicer stitch for the beginning of the row. Okay now we have the beginning we can continue with three more double crochet stitches here one two and three So that makes four stitches in the first stitch from the last row. Then chain two, one, two, skip this space, the chain two space, and then make six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five and six so now we put three double crochet stitches in the middle here in the middle stitch one two three Then six all the way to the to the chain 
to space one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Now we chain two and skip two and make four double crochet stitches in the top in the third chain here so that's one and two three and four so this is the end of the third row So now I want to show you how I make the beginning extended double crochet which will make this long side a bit stretchier so it lays nicer along your shoulders. First we turn the work so that the working yarn is here in the front, chain one and make a longer chain, put the yarn around the hook, insert the hook, pull up a loop then yarn over and pull through one, yarn over and pull through two, and then yarn over and pull th through two to finish the stitch. So this is just a bit taller than a normal double crochet stitch and it will make this edge a bit softer. So there are three double crochets left for this stitch one two and three then we make one double crochet in each of the next three stitches that's one then two And three. Now that we got to this chain two space, we chain two and skip two. So we skip the space and we work in the next double crochet. We make one double crochet in each of the stitches until the middle here. So that's one, two, three. Five, six, seven double crochets in total. So I made one, this is two, three, four, five. And seven. Now we are in the middle. We make three double crochets in this stitch. One, two, and three. Then we continue with one double crochet in each of the next seven stitches. Now that we have reached the chain to space, we make two chains, we skip the space and we make three double crochets in the next three 
which is the one in each stitch. So because this was a mock double crochet, now we can work into it as in a normal double crochet. It has two loops, you have to find them here one and two. We work three double crochets. One, two, three, and the last one can be an extended double crochet. So yarn over, go through a loop, pull th yarn over, pull through one, then yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So this makes it symmetrical with the first stitch here in the beginning. This is what it looks like now. Row number four is complete and we already have a nice shawl shape here. To begin row five, I will use the same technique as before. Turn, then chain one and pull up a loop. Make this a yarn over here. Insert, pull up loop. So I dropped it. No problem. You can fix it. So pull through one, pull through two. Okay. And pull through two. That's the beginning extended double crochet. Then I make three more double crochets here. One. Three, then six double crochets, one in each of the next six stitches. This is one and two, three. that I don't actually look at the diagram after making the first stitch because this is very intuitive you just follow what the stitches tell you so now we got to the chain two space so we chain two and we skip that part then we make one double crochet in each of the next eight And you can see we have gotten to the middle of the three again. We make three in that stitch. One, two, and three. Then we have eight double crochet stitches along here. in each of the next six stitches. Four double crochets or three double crochets in one extended double crochet 
in the top of this stitch here you can see the loops here one two okay so one two three double crochets and one extended double crochet so yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two and this is it end of row five this is what the shawl looks like after five rows and now you should have the hang of it beginning row six we make an extended double crochet chain two and double crochet in the same stitch then one double crochet in each of the next nine stitches one Then we chain two and skip two, make nine more double crochets here. Then we have reached the middle again, we make three double crochets in here. One, two, and three in the same stitch. And we continue with nine double crochets, one in each of the next nine stitches. We chain two, one, two, and make nine double crochets, one in each of the next nine stitches. And then we put one double crochet chain two and extend a double crochet in the last stitch. This is what row six looks like. We begin with an extended double crochet in the first stitch and then three double crochets in the same stitch. Then chain two and one double crochet in each of the next 10 stitches.
then we make a chain two and another 10 double crochet stitches one in each of the next 10 stitches Now we are at the middle stitch, so we will chain one, one double crochet in this stitch, and then chain one. Okay, and then we continue with ten double crochets. chain two again and make ten more double crochet stitches this is a very relaxing pattern because you don't actually need to count anything except in the middle and at the sides and as the rows become longer you have more and more of these ten double crochet chain two sections so you don't really need to count anything, you just look at the spaces. You should count if you're unsure of what you're doing. If you're a beginner, you should definitely count. And if you see something wobbly. So we have then here, we chain two, then make three double crochets and one extended double crochet in the last stitch so this is the top of the stitch one two three and four We begin row 8 by doing an extended double crochet stitch and 3 double crochets in the first stitch. One, two, three. Then we have 3 double crochets, one in each of the next 3 stitches. Chain two, ten double crochet stitches. Chain two, ten more double crochet stitches, one.
we're almost at the middle so we chain two one two one double crochet in the middle stitch then we continue chain two ten double crochet Then chain two, turn double crochet again. We continue with two chains and then we have three more double crochets and the final four stitches in the last stitch I will do again three double crochets and one extended double crochet One, two, three, and the last one, an extended double crochet. So this is it. This is the end of row eight. This is what it looks like now. We begin row 9 with an extended double crochet and 3 double crochets in the first stitch. Then we continue with double crochet stitches to the end of this section until we get to the chain 2 space. That's six double crochet stitches and we chain two and make the ten double crochet and chain two sections twice. Chain two, make two more, Chain two, and now we make three double crochet stitches here in the middle. And now we continue with two chains. 
chain two, ten double crochet sections here and here. Chain two, another ten double crochet stitches. Here we go. chain two and we have six double crochet stitches and four in the last one Four in the last one, so one, two, three, and the fourth, an extended double crochet. That's it for row nine. So I start with an extended double crochet. chain two, then double crochet in the same stitch, and then make double crochets all the way to the chain two space. Okay, now chain two and continue with the ten double crochet sets. Ten more done, chain two, and make ten more. Okay, chain two. And now we are almost at the middle, make one double crochet here, then three in the middle, and one more. One, and three, and then one in the next. And chain two and make two sets of ten of crochet chain two.
Mun se tam, še in tu, ne, bom na vse. Ok, še in tu, and now we have ten more double crochet stitches to make with the last one in the last stitch. So knit one double crochet. Chain two and one extended double crochet in the same stitch. And this is row ten finished. We begin with an extended double crochet or chain three if you like, or chain four, and then three more double crochets in the first stitch. Then chain two and we make three sets of ten double crochet chain two. Three sets done, chain two and one, two, double crochets and three in the middle stitch. and we begin again with the chain two and double crochet sets. Now that these are done, we continue with chain two, then we make four double crochet stitches in the last stitch, or in my case, three double crochet stitches and one extended double crochet. That's one, two, 
three and By now you should be quite familiar with the pattern, but I will continue until row, row 14 just like in the pattern itself just to show you exactly what to do on every row, just in case. It's very simple to pick up and it's quite repetitive so there's not much you can <laughs> mess up in here. So we have 4 stitches in the first one. And then three more double crochets in the next three stitches. And we continue with the chain two, ten double crochet. Once the repeats are done, we continue with the chain two. We have three double crochets here, one, two, three, then three double crochets in the middle stitch, and three more on this side. Now we have three more repeats of chain two, ten double crochets on this side, and I will come back when I finish this part. Now that the repeats are done, let's finish the row. So chain two, then we make three double crochet stitches, one in each of the next three stitches. And we finish up with three double crochet stitches and one extended double crochet in the last stitch. That's three double crochets and one extended double crochet. is finished. Starting round 13 again with an extended double crochet and three double crochet stitches in the first stitch. That's four in total. Then we make six more until we get to the chain two space. Okay, now we have the chain two ten double crochet repeats three times. I will skip over this in the video. When the three repeats are done, we continue with chain two, then one, two, three, and four double crochet stitches, then three in the middle stitch here and four more on this side
and again we end up having three sets of chain two ten double crochet stitches before we finish off the row so we'll skip over this again once those repeats are finished we continue with chain two then six double crochets here Three double crochets and one extended double crochet in the last stitch. And that's it. Now we have a row. 13 finished and we have a 12 row repeat that we will follow and I will just demonstrate with row 14 just so you know exactly what you're doing but right now we have four of these bands on each side and we will continue with a repeat of row 2 which has the beginning of this band, then four of these repeats of chain two, ten double crochet, and then we have the middle of the row the same way as in row two. So I will show you that, and then you can continue on your own by repeating row three four and so on with an increasing number of these bands. We begin row 14 by making first an extended double crochet in the first stitch. Then chain two and one double crochet. Now we finish this section which will count as the fourth chain two ten double crochet repeat and we make three more until we get to the middle so i will skip this part and i'll see you at the middle part now we're at the middle we chain two and make five double crochet stitches to the middle of the shawl this one two three, four, and five. Then we make three double crochet stitches in the middle stitch. Then five more on this side. Okay, now we have the four repeats of chain two times the double crochet, and we will meet here at the end in the last stitch. So I'm about to finish up the last repeat and making double crochets all the way to the last stitch. you will want to continue but I am done for this tutorial you should be able to continue from here on your own many people have done so many times already you can check out the projects on the pattern page on Ravelry 
and see what beautiful shawls people have already made with this pattern and uh, add your own. I will probably finish this up and I will show you the end results in the, the end of this video. After row 14 you can continue on your own using the instructions in the pattern and repeating the same steps that you already took to create the first part of the show. I went on and continued with all the yarn that I had and made this cutesy little shawl. It's quite small but it's good enough for a young girl for example. I wanted to also show you how else you can wear your shawl. Tied in the back like this. I want to thank you for following this tutorial that I made for you and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoy finishing up your shawl. If you want to share it with me, you can find all the links to my social media in the description below. In the description you can also find the pattern page or on Ravelry where you can link your project and you can also see the shawls that are other people have made. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and if you want to know when I publish more tutorials, click the subscribe button and the bell if you want to be notified when I publish a new video. And if you want to help me buy more yarn to make more tutorials, you will find a donation button in the description so you can donate using PayPal. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!